Welcome to Zion's Podcast, Casting for Christ. Here we are. It's Wednesday, October the 5th in the year of our Lord 2022, and we are back. We come to you from our studio at Zion Lutheran Church in Casterville. I'm your host, Pastor Greg, and it's great to be with you today. Members of Zion Lutheran Church, please check your emails for Zion News and Notes and a devotional. Well, that brings us to our trivia question for today, and it is, which book in the Bible follows the book of Job? Which book in the Bible follows the book of Job? We'll get back to the answer to that trivia question in just a little bit, but first let's go to our devotional. This daily devotion was written by Dr. Carol Geisler of Lutheran Hour Ministries. It's entitled, We Remember, and it's based on Psalm 111, verse 3 and 4, and I read, Full of splendor and majesty is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Many families want to be sure that their memories are handed down to future generations. Stories and events are preserved in photographs, videos, and personal journals. Treasured families' experiences are told and retold in stories with lessons of joy and hope and strength. There is much to be learned from the past. God has called his cause his wonderful works his wondrous works, to be remembered. He spoke through his prophets. His mighty acts and his promises were passed on by word of mouth and written down in the inspired scriptures. And finally, when the time was right, God spoke through his Son, the Word made flesh. Jesus promised his disciples that the Holy Spirit would come to them. It would be the Spirit's task to bring the mind of all that Jesus did and taught. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom God the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you to remembrance, all that, remembrance of all that I have said to you, John 14, verse 26. The Holy Spirit works through the Word to bring to our remembrance what God has done. We study the sacred writings that make us wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ, Writings that are profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy 3, 15-17 We remember the works of God, His mighty acts throughout all of history, and His saving power at work in our own lives. We read and study the scriptures so that we do not forget and we want our children and our grandchildren to remember too. And with the psalmist, we pray. So even to old age and gray hairs, O God, do not forsake me until I proclaim your might to another generation, your power to all those to come. Psalm 71, verse 18. Yet, even more important than our remembering is the fact that God remembers. He remembered and kept his ancient covenant promise to send a Savior. Our crucified, risen, and exalted Lord also made a promise. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. John chapter 6, verse 40. It is a promise that our Lord will remember. It's a promise that he will keep. God has given us his word and spirit so that, so that the word testifies to our Savior. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you have life in his name. John 20, verse 31. The Holy Spirit is at work in the word and brings to mind all that God has done for us. Why is it so important to remember the wondrous works of God? The psalmist gives the answer. The Lord is gracious and merciful. And that is something we must never forget. Would you fold your hands and as I pray? Lord God, I remember your mighty works. Help me by your spirit to tell others about your grace and mercy. Amen. Well, okay, let's go back to our trivia question for today. That trivia question again was, 
Which book in the Bible follows the book of Job? Well, the answer is the Psalms. Let's wrap up our podcast with a reminder about Zion's various media ministry offerings on Facebook and YouTube. Every Sunday, in addition to our in-person services, which you are most encouraged to attend, you may watch the live stream of our worship with communion services on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. All services (coughs) will be archived for later viewing on Zion's Facebook pages, as well as uploaded to our YouTube channel after the service. And there's this podcast, Casting for Christ, each Wednesday beginning at 10 a.m. and archived after that. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, Paul records, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Pastor Greg here, your host for Casting for Christ, encouraging you to be strengthened through Christ. We will see you again on this podcast next week. Have a great week and God's richest blessings for all of you. And all of God's people confidently say, Amen. Amen.